This chart summarizes the relationship between price levels and gross domestic product, or GDP, per capita, of economies in the world, while also showing the respective size of each economy, based on the results from the 2011 International Comparison Program, or ICP. Let's see how it's constructed. These two bubbles represent the GDPs of India and Germany in their local currencies. But the sizes of the bubbles are not yet comparable, since one is an Indian rupee and the other in Euro. In order to compare them, they need to be in the same currency. So let's convert them into US dollars. Do we use market exchange rates? No. To compare the real size of world economies, purchasing power parities, or PPPs, are the better measure, because not only do they express economic output in a common currency, they also adjust for differences in price levels across economies. Using PPPs, we can convert the GDP of each economy into real terms. Let's add Brazil. To compare standards of living across different economies, let's align them by GDP per capita, which is GDP divided by population. The horizontal axis expresses GDP per capita in PPP terms, with the lowest GDP per capita on the left and the highest on the right. Adding the remaining economies, the sizes of the bubbles and their location on the horizontal line show the relationship between GDP and GDP per capita, both in PPP terms, of the world's economies. The vertical axis shows price level. Let's examine what it means. Suppose you can buy this basket of goods with 100 coins in your country. If you travel to India, a basket of the same quantity and quality of goods would cost about 3,600 rupees, which can be exchanged using the market exchange rate into 42 coins of your local currency. If you go to Germany, the same basket would cost about 55 euros or 140 of your coins, again using the market exchange rate. Hence, the same basket of goods is more expensive in Germany and less expensive in India relative to your country. If we set the price level reference to the basket in your country as 100, then the price level for India is 42, and for Germany, 140. To understand this better, let's consider the price level index, or PLI, which is the ratio of an economy's PPP to its market exchange rate. PLIs provide a measure of the differences in price levels between economies by indicating the number of units of the common currency needed to buy the same quantity in each economy. If the world average price level is set at 100, then an economy with a PLI higher than 100 is relatively more expensive compared to the world average. If its PLI is lower than 100, then the opposite would be true. Now, let's bring back the three circles. Here, the world average PLI is set at 100. Let's align the economies vertically by their price levels. India appears to be relatively less expensive compared to the world average. Germany is relatively more expensive. Brazil is closest to the world average among the three. Let's bring in other economies from Africa, Asia and the Pacific, the Commonwealth of Independent States, Eurostat, OECD, Latin America, the Caribbean, and Western Asia. Now you can see more clearly the relationship between price levels, GDP per capita of economies, and the real size of economies. You may spot some noteworthy patterns by region or by specific groupings of economies. This chart can also be utilized for in-depth analyses of various GDP components, such as individual consumption, government consumption, gross fixed capital formation, and so forth. Using time series data is also informative. The World Bank's World Development Indicators publish GDP and PPP time series that you can use to measure and track changes in economic trends over time. These data visualizations enable better understanding and analysis of the structure of the world economy.